So, anyone who's played Dead by Daylight recently can tell you that there have been a lot of people disconnected from me. And by a lot, I mean a lot. So I wanted to take some time to share with you my thoughts on why I feel people are disconnecting, what I think the root cause of it is, and how the devs can go about fixing it. Now I've also heard some murmurs out there about it being about deranking. I want to tell you, in my opinion, it's not about rank anymore. The first question everyone's going to ask is, why do people do it? And unfortunately, this is the one part that has no simple answer. From the tens of hundreds of people I've talked to about it in pre-game, post-game, and everywhere in between, everybody has their own different quirks or criteria for why they'll de-rank from a game or de Whether it's the perks that people have to deal with, the certain killers, the maps, the play styles, because other people disconnected, and sometimes it's due to specific players in the game that they're with. Everyone's got their own reason to disconnect. I know a few people even brought up the whole deranking issue from a while back. And though I'm sure that still plays a role, that's not what's making everybody DC now. At the end of the day, the current justification for people disconnecting from the game is it's just not fun. Legion's boring to play against. You can't, literally can't do anything against the nearest. I hate playing on the game. Survivor Friends is too overpowered. At the end of the day, those people are really getting at is those games just aren't fun. And if it's not fun and there's no reward, why even waste time finishing it out? Now, as a Survivor main, I'd love to tell you that Nurse is killing the game. But she's been here for well over two years. Yes, yeah, she still isn't fun. Yes, I still feel like she breaks the game. But I don't think she or any particular killer is the root of what's causing people to disconnect. Well, you ask, what is? Some of you may know that the devs made a small change to the ranking system in this last major patch. For most of the early ranks, they were left untouched. However, for the higher ranks, i.e. green, purple, red, they shift the goalposts just a little bit further in each tier in order to get a pip or rank up. Not so much that it's necessarily too hard, but I do feel as if the gameplay currently feels a little inconsistent now and doesn't actually or accurately represent in-game performance. What I mean by this is, have you ever had a game where you felt like you did really well, you played your best, and somehow were only awarded with a safety pip? And on the same note, have played games where you felt like you and your team did terrible, and somehow at the end of it end up ranking up? This has kind of always been a thing ever since the Emblem System came out, but this light shift in the goalpost just made it glaringly obvious in the last update. But everyone always says rank doesn't matter, so why is this even a thing? I know, rank doesn't matter is a common phrase you've heard through the community. I'm sure you've heard your favorite streamer say it a dozen times. Hell, I'm pretty sure even I've said it before. But the truth is, rank does matter. You may not notice it, you may think you don't care, but your rank is a visible and tangible progression at the end of every day or a play session. Not having that at the end of the game or the end of hour or the end of a day does have an effect on you, even if you don't notice it. What we're seeing now is what Dead by Day that looks like if rank truly didn't matter. What I'm getting at is with the current ranking system, even some of the best players can go days without moving in ranks if they're not trying. With players spending hours playing the game but feeling as if they're getting absolutely no reward for it, it makes rank truly feel meaningless. Realistically, this is all just a psychological Skinner box, but without that little pat on the back at the end of every game or that little dopamine rush from ranking up, players have no incentive to putting themselves through games that don't give them the maximum of enjoyment. Where I'm going with this is, if I don't really need blood points, rank doesn't matter, and I hate playing against Legion, why would I finish a game if I know Legion's the killer? There's no real punishment for DCing because rank doesn't matter, so, why shouldn't I just hit leave game and hope in my next lobby I don't get a legion? If I'm only playing this game for my own personal enjoyment and not for any status or progression, why should I subject myself to anything that I'm not enjoying? Just because you want to play nurse or have a daily doesn't mean that I want to play against a nurse. Well, I'm just going to hit the leave game button and you can find someone that wants to deal with it. Just not me. So the real question now is how do we fix it? I know a lot of people have made some suggestions about uh, implementing penalties similar to like League of Legends or Rainbow Six for people who disconnect. And for now, I disagree with this strategy. This would be implementing a stick without ever offering a carrot. 
The two of these things are always supposed to be used in tandem with one another to get the behavior you want. I think punishing players for leaving games they don't want to play rather than giving them a reason to want to play them is just going to push people away from the game. Ultimately, that's not what the devs want to do. They want to give you more reasons to engage with their product for more time, not less. I'm sure someone on the dev team has been cognizant of this for a while. This is why they've been so hesitant to ban people simply for disconnecting, because at the end of the day, if people aren't enjoying the game, banning them afterwards is just going to incentivize them to not come back. And that's not what the devs want. In my opinion, there's only two ways to truly fix this problem, and both of them need to be done simultaneously if it's going to truly stop this disconnecting issue. One, they need to incentivize players who are actually going through unideal gaming situations. A, they need to give you a reward that's worth it for sitting through a 30 minute Legion game. Two, they need to address the glaring balance issues that have been in the game for an extended period of time. Game crashes to griefing to unbalanced gameplay, Dead by Daylight leaves a lot to be desired in terms of an enjoyable gaming experience. Whenever I have friends hop in who haven't played for a while, I have a hard time convincing them that the game's not still in beta, considering the high amount of bugs and crashes that we have to deal with for this three-year-old project. If this was a AAA game, most of them would have had all this fixed within six months. Now, obviously, this studio isn't as big as your typical AAA studio, but they've also been given six times that amount of time. They need to deliver on fixing these issues. The fact that there's still this many bugs after every patch at this point is frankly unacceptable. To put it blunt, people are disconnecting because they're not having fun anymore, and rank truly feels like it doesn't matter. This is what happens when those two timelines cross. People still enjoy the game, but they understand that they're not going to enjoy every aspect of it. So rather than drudge through the parts that they dislike, they just simply hit the escape button and roll again. People paid for a game they can enjoy, and you can't punish them for choosing not to engage with it when they don't enjoy it. That'll just hurt your game, not help it. You need to focus on rewarding those who stick to the hard times and rewarding them well. You need to focus on the parts of the game that people aren't enjoying and address them in a timely manner. Sometimes this means taking drastic action, like temporarily suspending a character or something until you can get it more in line with what you wanted or expected. There is one more glaring problem with the game that I've been hinting at throughout the video but didn't really attack directly because in my opinion they're a topic all on their own. They're a whole nother discussion and require a much deeper look into that I want to do here. So I'll just save them for another video. Before we go, I want to thank you guys for watching the video and let you know that if you want to continue the discussion or talk to me in person or in my community. I stream four days a week, Monday through Thursday, from 6 p.m. PST to midnight PST, every day on Twitch TV. If you want to talk to me about this or anything else I've brought up in any of my previous videos, you're welcome to come by. I'll leave links to my Twitch down below in the description. But now, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day. This has been Shinobazu. Deuces.